If you had a dream or an ultimate goal that you knew would make you happy and successful, would you choose to work for it? Or would you shy away from it because of the risks and the challenges? All of us dream of achieving something, whether it is small and tangible, or whether it's big and creative. Some of us dream of being successful CEOs of corporate companies, whereas others of us dream of falling in love with the perfect partner. But whatever that dream is, it inspires us. It encourages us. It gives us energy and motivation. It makes the impossible seem possible. And we're always told to dream big, because there's no limits to what we can achieve. But what if there are limits to what we can achieve, based on our limiting beliefs in our mind and the masks we choose to hide behind? As young children, we have the most imaginative of dreams. We always want to grow up and become astronauts, footballers, rock stars, movie stars, prince or princesses with fire breathing dragons as pets. There are just no limitations to what we want to achieve. When I was young, I had a dream. I wanted to be famous, and I wanted to perform on stage. And that was my dream. And I was adamant that I was going to achieve it. There was nothing that was going to stop me. I had no fear. But gradually, as I grew older, and as I turned into a teenager, I was more aware, more aware, more self-conscious of my thoughts and my feelings and what other people would think of me. And over time, I allowed these limiting beliefs in my mind to stop me from reaching my goals and my dreams. And I decided to hide behind a mask to fit in with other people and to please other people. Now, when we're teenagers, and young adults, we're often encouraged to go down a safe path, such as taking or choosing a job that's safe for us and secure, or maybe going to university because it's the traditional norm if you would like a professional job. But what if that safe path is not the path to success? What if we actually need to take more risks and challenges in our life if we really want to develop as an individual and to become successful. Now, as adults, we are far more aware of our limiting beliefs, our thoughts, our worries and our fears. And more often than not, that imposter syndrome kicks in a little bit more frequently. And what we do is we find ourselves hiding behind these masks because we're too afraid to be who we want to be, or we're too frightened to go after what we really want to achieve. In my 20s, I hid behind that mask. I continued to hide behind it because I had no self-belief. I didn't think I could hit my goals. I didn't think I could reach for my dreams. And over time, I gradually started to realize that I can go for my dreams, but something needs to change up here. I have to change my mindset. So in my early 30s, I studied positive psychology, and I was fascinated by the mind. I studied growth mindset, and I just couldn't believe how important our minds are in terms of our success. But then the more I looked around at other people, the more I realized that they, too, were hiding behind these masks because they were too afraid to be who they really were, or they were too frightened to go after what they really wanted to. Now, personally, I put a lot of this down to social media. Social media daily encourages us to apply filters, to copy the latest fashion trends, and to represent a distorted version of ourselves that is not the authentic us. Now, over 40% of the world's population is on social media. And on average, we spend two to three hours every single day swiping, scrolling, commenting, and liking. And what if the social media has a massive part to play in our minds? What if that's actually creating limiting beliefs? Because what we're doing is we're comparing ourselves to a distorted version of someone else. 
Now, research states that 80% of success is down to your mindset. The other 20% is down to strategy. So surely that goes to prove how important our mindsets are if we really want to reach for our goals and we really want to become successful. But how do we actually create this mindset to success? And there's lots of different strategies, and every single one of us will feel that different strategies work for them. But I'm going to share with you my top four strategies that have helped me to create that mindset to success. Number one, develop bravery and confidence. Confidence is valued by many. And if you can develop that self-belief inside, that real confidence, that drive and determination, that's really going to help you in terms of progressing forwards. But confidence doesn't happen overnight. It can take days, weeks, months, and maybe even years to develop that self-belief and confidence. I've already told you, it took me years. I often hid behind that mask, and it took me a while to really develop my self-belief in myself so I could reach for my goals and I could reach for my dreams. But developing it over time is fantastic. Working on your mindset every single day, whether that's through journaling, meditation, using affirmations, whatever works for you, it's a fantastic opportunity to develop and grow. Strategy number two, be curious. Have a love for learning. Be fascinated with the world around you. How are other people being successful? What are they doing to make themselves happy? What strategies are they using to progress forwards? When I first started my business, I was really curious. I was fascinated by how businesses, startup businesses, successfully grew and progressed forwards. And every single day, I would listen to podcasts, I would watch videos, I would attend masterclasses, and I'd read any book possible that was inspirational to me. But it helped me develop that knowledge and understanding inside, and I just loved learning. I loved learning new things. Strategy number three, be inspired by other people. So many of us today are threatened by the success of others, and we end up comparing our success story to theirs. But you should never compare yourself to anyone else other than your own self. So when we're looking at other people, have a look at how they are successful. What strategies have they used, have they implemented over time to get to that particular point? And you can use that, and you can apply it to your own. But you're creating your own success story. You're creating your own journey. And strategy number four, take risks and challenges, no matter how much it scares you. If you take a risk or a challenge, you never know when that would be the best risk that you could possibly take, because it could change your life. I remember when I took one of my biggest risks a couple of years ago. I was investing in my business, and I invested every single last penny I had. And I was petrified. I didn't know if it was going to work. Those limiting beliefs started coming back into my mind. And I thought to myself, what if this business doesn't actually work? What if I lose every single penny I've invested? What am I going to live on? But you know what? It was the best decision I'd ever made. Because if I hadn't have taken that financial risk, and if I hadn't believed in myself, I would not be able to stand here tonight sharing with you my TED uh, talk, and I wouldn't be able to inspire and empower so many females that I work with today. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was younger, I had a dream to become famous and to perform on stage. Now, I might not be famous, but I'm living my dream here tonight by sharing with you my TED Talk. We shouldn't have to hide behind masks. We should be able to show up as the authentic us. And with the self-belief and confidence, the curiosity and love for learning, the inspiration from other people, and to be able to take risks and challenges, 
every single one of us will be able to create a mindset to success and achieve our goals and dreams. Thank you.